So in this video, we're gonna be upgrading to OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Currently on OpenSUSE Leap 15.4. In fact, let's pull open a uh, NeoFetch so you guys can see what's going on here. So this is, whoa, open, oh, I broke it. No, it's not too bad. OpenSUSE Leap 15.4. I'm on the old mini PC PB50, unfortunately. But that's one of the reasons why I'm switching, is OpenSUSE Leap just doesn't run well on this machine, like, at all. It's got a lot of weird, like, it. look at this. I, I have no idea what's causing this. Um, there's other issues, like, with Lutris. I'm, I'm using mainly using Lutris through the flat pack, but this version of Lutris that comes with OpenSUSE Leap is built with Python 3.6, which isn't even really shipped with Leap, so like half of Lutris doesn't work. Bottles is another tool that doesn't work quite right. Look at this black bar around this, this dropdown, and then this one is all corrupted like Chrome is. So Bottles and Chrome are flat packs, and Lutris is a native app, and that doesn't work. So it seems like the graphics glitches are from flat pack apps, and Lutris is just, I don't know, packaged badly. But the Lutris version that's in Tumbleweed is up to date and I know that it works so I'm hoping that moving to Tumbleweed will fix a lot of this stuff. I'm also hoping that getting the latest driver version and kernel will help performance because the performance on this machine has been absolutely dreadful. So I'm sitting at a page that says OpenSUSE Tumbleweed Upgrade and you can do this straight through Yast which you know I love Yast but since the instructions specifically say to use the terminal and run some commands to move the repo files, that's what we're going to do. If I was doing this all on my own, I would probably figure out just how to use Yast, but because I'm doing this for you guys, or with you guys, I'm just going to be running these commands. And I think that you're all supposed to do this, like you're supposed to do all these as root. So let me actually check. Does it say root in here? It doesn't. So I don't have to alt tab every time. I'm just going to go ahead and tile these kind of like so and let's start copying just like that just <laughs> no no feedback or anything then add the new repos you add each of these like so there's our repos so this is uh x8486 not a arch 64 and the vast majority of users won't need sources a lot of distros include sources enabled by default i actually think ubuntu does or maybe Debian does, but you do not need the sources unless you need them, and most people don't. So that is basically it. Just swap the repos over and then grab this command or you can just run zipper dub with allow vendor change. Now go make some coffee and have a lot of fun when using our rolling release. And that's what Tumbleweed is. I didn't explain any of this. I'm on OpenSUSE Leap now because I was using Debian testing, if you guys remember a few months ago, and you know what happened with Debian testing? I did a big upgrade and it completely hosed up Grub. I could not boot into my system. I actually had to install a new distro on an external USB for it to recover Grub. And yes, I did try to get into the system and recover Grub. I couldn't. I was not expecting a, an update on Debian to completely hose up my system. So this is pretty fun. Check this bit out right here. Any user who you know or have a reason to know, will utilize OpenSUSE Tumbleweed in the design, development, or production of nuclear, chemical, or biological weapons, or rocket systems, space launch vehicles, sounding rockets, or unmanned air vehicles, except as authorized by the relevant government agency by regulation or specific license. Now that is a term or condition that you want to find in your open source operating system license agreement. <laughs> But yeah, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is a modular Linux operating system consisting of hundreds of software components. So if you're not familiar with good old SUSE, it is an enterprise style Linux distro like Red Hat or even Ubuntu is nowadays. OpenSUSE Leap is to SUSE as CentOS is to Red Hat, kind of. OpenSUSE Leap is kind of where all of the development and community energy has been moved to because it's a rolling release and it picks up all of the latest goodness straight from upstream right into the repos, not dissimilar from Arch. In fact, I personally consider OpenSUSE Tumbleweed as like an alternative to Arch if you're looking for a leading edge rolling release distro. But anyway, I'm gonna fast forward through this part because you probably don't wanna hear me ramble for uh, 3,134 packages, though it does look like it's going pretty fast. 
And we've just about reached the end. It looked like wine and steam and Lutris was all that remains. Checking for file conflicts. Hopefully there's none. That was just the downloading. Now we're going to remove stuff and install stuff. And we'll have to go through all 3,000 packages again. Honestly, it's not taking that long. I think it's... I guess you could look at the clock on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. I'm not sure how long we've been, been rolling for. You know, one thing I forgot to mention, and I'll mention while this is going, is this background is just awesome. It's actually album art from an album called Then Again by Mitch Murder. You all know by now that I love 80s style synthwave, and this album is very... 90s and a lot of the tunes on there remind me of Genesis games. They're not like bit tune, but the style and melody of some of the songs reminds me of something you'd hear on a Sega Genesis game back in the day. And you know, something else I didn't do that we can do while this is installing is let's take a look at some versions. So we already looked at NeoFetch, but I didn't actually like, I looked at it, I didn't read it. <laughs> so this is the Matei desktop 1.26.0. I'm not sure if there's a point release out. I think that there is. My shell is fish 3.3.1. I have RPM packages. Those are native packages. I'm also using brew. I don't know how people feel about that. And I have a lot of flat packs. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick to the flat pack thing once we get to tumbleweed. Like my web browsers are installed through flat pack and there's like weird sandbox issues that I don't really like dealing with. So I might bail. The style and theme is provided by Vertex, and it comes straight from the repos. I didn't go to some website and download some CSS or anything. This is straight from the OpenSUSE repos. Same with the icons. And the CPU is a Ryzen 7 3750H. The GPU is AMD Radeon Vega 10. And I thought that this integrated setup would be okay, and it, it just barely cuts it. I'm not super impressed with how this thing performs. We got kernel version 5.14 and our Mesa version, and this is what I'm most interested in. I'm most, well, I'm interested in the kernel version and the Mesa version. I'm hoping that I can get better performance by switching to Tumbleweed because we should have the latest kernel and the latest Mesa. On Leap, we're running Mesa 22.1.4. And where can I find the AMD driver in use? So it looks like we're using the AMD GPU driver and excuse the strange thumbnail that is now a phantom and stuck on the screen. It, this happened when I did, when I switched the, the tabs. Uh, let's just blame it on the upgrade. Uh, I don't know what to say about that, but yeah, it seems to be AMD GPU instead of like Radeon SI, or whatever. I found it from this site here. You still can't really see it because of thumbnail. All right, we've reached the end of the upgrade. So the thumbnail is still here, but everything else looks fine. I don't see any errors, just a lot of regular update stuff all right from here we do the old reboot and see what's on the other side welcome to tumbleweed i wanted to get this recording started right away in case like any notifications or anything pop up which there probably won't be but the first thing i noticed is that my desktop appeared instantly on leap it would always take a couple seconds before the background rendered and everything like was usable. But with Tumbleweed, it dropped me straight to my desktop, which is cool. I, d I don't know what would cause that. I mean, it's just like it's the desktop doing its thing. So I don't know why Tumbleweed would have uh, any impact on that. But we're still using Mate 1.26.0. Though I, I don't know if I believe that. It is 1.26.0. Interesting. We're now on kernel 5.19. Are we still using the same? I was, we're still using the same driver, right? Launch Lutris from the old command line. See what kind of stuff it spits out. Oh, look, it says AMD GPU drivers right there. Okay, so one thing that is seemingly broken is when I open Pluma, it's just chilling, unsaved document, whatever. I'm gonna copy this out of Lutris, paste it here and it crashes, boom. So that's not good. I have another text editor. Wait, I had one. There we go. It's K right. What about that? Yeah, so that's Pluma that's crashing. Interesting. On the left, we have the old configuration with leap and the syntax highlighting is all messed up. Let me fix that. There we go. I know this is K right and we're on Mate and this is kind of like weird sacrilege, but let's just go with it. So they both said OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and that's because I, I ran this after starting the upgrade, but the kernel version was 5.14, it's now 5.19. 
We're still using Mate, we're still using X. The Mesa version is the same? That can't be right. Is it really the same? Oh, I was trying to I was trying to figure out what was different on this line here. Open GL renderer. Notice how it's different here. It's because this piece is it's wrapping. That's what the arrow is about. So the the name of the kernel is longer on leap than it is on tumbleweed. You know, I'm gonna run a zipper dup just in case something was was missed in the in the process because this this isn't quite what I was expecting. And there's nothing to do really. So it seems like. We just got, uh, I wasn't expecting, let's let's run a flat pack. Well, no. Oh, because I'm root right now. That's why I did that. Let's try that again. The root user on SUSE doesn't have access to like X and some other stuff. But yeah, this is the latest version of Lutris, but I guess we didn't get later Mesa versions. So I'm gonna use Minecraft as a sort of benchmark for this because in the in the past, Leap had sometimes had trouble recording Minecraft windows. Sometimes it did just fine, other times it just fell down. You can probably hear the, the CPU fan spinning up in the background. I can't move physically any further away from it, so it just it's just kind of there and it's unfortunate. But I have this AWS test server. It's a clone of the EGIO Minecraft server, which is in Linode. This AWS test server is, is in AWS, obviously. It's a T3A medium instance, so it's dual core with four gigabytes of RAM, and another four gigabytes is ZRAM, or ZSwap. And let's see, am I on creative? I am, okay. So let's get back to the spawn area and kind of see how the system does. OBS is saying it dropped 1600 frames, but now it's okay. So for some reason it kind of stumbled at the beginning, but it, it appears to have evened, evened out a bit. So it seems like it's running Minecraft just fine, which is, which is obviously good. I wouldn't expect anything, but then again, I didn't expect anything on Leap and it didn't run super perfect on Leap, so. So I think that's gonna wrap this one up. I've done what I needed to do, upgraded from Leap to Tumbleweed, checked into the specs, uh, tested it with Minecraft, and everything seems to be fine. So I'm glad I made this video. I've been thinking about making a video of my upgrade for a while, and I was kind of waffling about it because people are usually pretty mixed about these sorts of videos, but I wanted to make it for me because I'm switching distros and I wish that I had talked about or made a video about switching from Debian testing because now it just feels like ancient history, but it was a really big deal when it happened. So here we are with OpenSUSE Leap and Tumbleweed. That's going to wrap this one up. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. If you like the music, it's by Mitch Murder. The background is from the album art on the LP. You can get their music from Bandcamp or stream it from YouTube, Pandora, Spotify, Amazon, wherever you like to stream music. I appreciate all your support and thanks for watching.